Okay, what if Baron Cohen's study used children instead of adult males with autism? So if you are taking a psychology 9990, paper two might present you with a scenario where they give you a study and ask you to change it somehow. And today we are going to talk about Baron Cohen's study and if Baron Cohen used children instead of male adults. So if you remember in Baron Cohen's study for reading of the mind's eyes test, the eyes test itself used very complex words. So complex that we had to give a dictionary so that participants were able to look up words that they didn't know or understand. Now, if we were to use children for this reading of the mind's eyes test, it would definitely not be appropriate because even if the children could read and could look up the words, the meaning and not having someone to describe what it means or give examples is unlikely for the child to truly grasp such a sophisticated or complex word. So an alternative method is needed to study theory of mind. Now, in case you didn't know this, Baron Cohen came up with another study and it is called the Sally Ann test. The Sally Ann test is a storytelling about two characters, Sally and Ann, and it's basically meant to help figure out if children have a developed theory of mind. Now, all we really know is that theory of mind develops somewhere between the ages of three and four. So your population would want to consist of kids that are three and under and four and over. Now, I'm going to put a link to a Sally Ann test down below, but I'm also going to give you an example of it here in this video. So we have a child sitting in front of us and we are going to tell a story, but we're also going to have figures and we're going to act this out. So here we have Sally and Anne and they are playing together on the swing set, but they are playing with a bouncy ball. Now Anne has the ball and she decides she needs to go to the bathroom. So Anne hides the ball in the sand by the swings and then she goes on her way to the bathroom. Now when Anne is gone... Sally decides to dig up the ball and go and hide it underneath the slide. Next, we are going to tell the participant that Anne is going to return from the bathroom. And we want to ask our participant where Anne is going to look for the bouncy ball. Now, a child that has a developed theory of mind is going to say that Anne's going to look for the bouncy ball under the slide. And they're going to do this because they saw Sally move the bouncy ball under the slide themselves. So this means that this child believes that everybody else sees the world as they do and they lack theory of mind. But a child who says that Anne is going to look in the sand under the swing has a developed theory of mind because they know that Anne wasn't able to see Sally move the ball. So in this fake study that we're making up using children instead of as adults in Baron Cohen's study, children three and under who lack theory of mind would say that Anne goes right to the slide because she thinks that the ball is under the slide. And those children four and up are going to say that Anne is going to look where she left the ball underneath the swings. If you're looking for more help with a psychology, please join my Patreon and follow for more.